back to another video and thank you guys for joining me your boy 20 for another banger so your boy got that dewey rag on i got my braids going so this video we're gonna take care of them and not mess them up but enough about me you guys are not here to see me you guys are here to see what we're here to work on and today we're gonna be working on the honda shadow and if you guys have noticed you guys can see the pretty big difference as to what we've already done to the bike man now i got these bags off amazon they come with two one for each side but obviously it only looks good on a bobber with one so i rocked only one but it, it's not the same color as my seat man and i really thought in the pictures it did look the same color as my seat but it's not man this is not real leather though i know this one is not my dad be saying that this is real leather though because of the, the way the stitching is on the inside he's saying that it's real leather let me go ahead and open it for you guys and then i'll show you what's up obviously it's got one for the right side one for the left i don't know which is which this one just looked the best with this angle if that makes sense it looks the most flat on the bottom the other one was just too like weird so i rock i'm rocking with this one man for now it's got some nice buckles on there man like it's got a latch and then the actual buckle and then you pull it out and then the inside's dope man like the green i love the green man i'm digging the green i want to go get some wd-40 that will cover over y some extra washers for my 350z overall the bag's dope man i really like it man i, I keep my i keep some spare jet tags on me my registration in here has got a zippered pocket in there you feel me it's pretty dope man it's got this little pocket in the front that i don't know what i can fit in there maybe a lighter a joint who knows anyways i'm gonna try to make this the same color as this seat and my dad's been swearing by this wd-40 that he just showers it in it and it just makes it dark and it makes it last man so i don't necessarily know if this is gonna work so i'm not gonna try it on the one that i have on the bike it did come with this though which is the lightest one out of all of them this is like for your tool bag that's supposed to go in the front but i refuse to take off my sarape to put this on there because i feel like it looks it's gonna look hideous man i feel like it looks a lot better like this just with the one bag and i could put all my stuff in there you know so we're gonna try it on this one and see if it works man I took out the plastics because my dad said that it's not gonna ruin it the the inside the buckles or the buttons it's not gonna ruin any of it so i'm gonna hold them to that and uncover everything so that when i shower this i can actually see some results man so let's go ahead and get to prep this up i love this bag man because i can keep my bandana and my gloves in here i don't have any actual riding gloves i just got some head ones i need to go get some gloves with my boy hyro we need some proper equipment y'all we need some proper equipment but i can keep that in there till the next time and i found these really cool shades that my boy john gave me when i used to work at firestone shout out my boy john honda engines i thought it was really dope the red visors look pretty dope in the sun so i've been rocking with them for a bit man you gotta love this bike man you gotta love this pocket man the green is just so dope anyways i don't even know if you need to shake wd-40 my dad says to give it a nice soak Damn, I don't know what I'm doing, man, but I hope it works, Dad. This is on you, man. I'm telling everybody on the channel about this. So I don't know if he was joking with me or not, or if he's trying to mess with me, but you guys will see everything, and we'll see if it actually works or not. It's not looking any darker, man, but I guess he said I got to give it a few coats. I ended up opening it up. That way, I only have to do the front when I need to do it. So we're going to let that soak for a bit, and then come back out another coat, and then I will go from there, man, see how much more it needs. Second coat, threw it on there heavy as hell. Give it some more time to dry and then we'll come Third back. Third coat, as you guys can see, I absolutely bathed it with the WD-40. I'm not sure if I'm noticing any difference at all, man, but I mean, I'll give my dad the benefit of the doubt and we'll see how it comes out. Let me know if there's anything that you guys use to darken the leather so that it matches like, you know, a darker color like my seat. Let me know what you guys use. So this is after three coats. It's somewhat kind of dry, but not really, just in some areas. This one, this one came out really well right here. This is perfect. This one is kind of funny, but it's a lot darker. You guys can see it goes from front to back as well. You see that? It's pretty, pretty cool. This is only three coats. My dad said he did like five or six or seven. So um, we'll do more later once this dries up a little bit more. It's kind of after a day of curing. You guys can tell it's a lot lighter than the other one. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Then right here you guys can tell even right here it, it aged very well right here but on the other side it didn't come out so well as you guys can see the darkness difference so i figured instead of wasting my thing on the wd-40 with this one i might as well just move on 
to the actual big one so right now we're going to start spraying this one and uh, see what happens man i'm gonna just spray it where i wanted to look aged and old so right about there you feel me so mostly this area this general area because this is what you see the most like this top area but the more the merrier you know we'll just try to spray it all This is my third coat on the final product that I'm actually going to be color changing. This is the one that's actually going to go on the bike. And it's starting to look a lot darker already, man, just based off that. But it's extremely wet right now. That was a, an extremely heavy third coat. I think I'm just going to use up the rest of the can. Maybe five or six coats and then see what it does. And show you what it looks like, man. You feel me? But it is like getting a lot darker. I'm going to leave the back of this one normal so that we can see the difference. But even just from there to here, it's a pretty big difference. This one needs a lot more work up top. This is what you see the most. So this is what I want to work on the most. I saw, as you guys can clearly see, after maybe four coats last night, letting it dry and then hitting it with one fat coat this morning. So in total of five coats, it looks like this. Very, very dark. Compared to the stock color, stock color <laughs> compared to the original color right here a lot darker man let me put it right next to each other so you guys can really see that comparison look how much darker that is man all off wd-40 bro all off just wd-40 and i didn't wipe it down or anything i either let it fall off or i just let it soak into the leather but um yeah the texture doesn't even feel like oily or anything the only thing is i think that might be stained i'm not sure if it's gonna dry on the inside right here it might just be stained, though. I'm not sure, we'll, but um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But uh, it might just have be stained in there, but on the outside, it don't look too bad, man. And if you guys can see, it's kind of dull right here, and then over here is a little bit more shiny. Dull? Shiny. It's not 100% dry, you guys can see. It still kind of um, looks a little bit wet, but it looks great, man. I'm very happy with how it came out. You guys can see that's kind of the original color right there. This is really dark. Might need a few more coats before it actually matches my seat, but this looks great, man. I think the stock color's still up here. Yeah, it's up there, the color. And then uh, down here is a darker color. It's not bad, man. I'm really happy with the results, how it's coming out so far. Might do another coat later on, but um, for right now, this is definitely looking good.
was hella loud though. Yo, we outside with it. Yo. I know I'm not here to pump diesel. I'm just here for the lighting. You feel me? So this is why we're here with the Honda Shadow. You feel me? Threw the saddle bag on today. Went to work. Went on a cruise today. It looks so much darker than before, man. If you guys remember what it used to look like, it was so light. Now it's so dark. On camera, it doesn't look that close, but this is a lot more shiny than this is. But other than that, just from this being more shiny, I think it's pretty close to being the same kind of brown. But it's a lot closer together of a brown than it was before. You guys can see it doesn't look that far off, does it? Thumb not right here? Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know what you guys think of the, of the bobber. You feel me? It's not super annoying to take these off. I'm just kind of getting used to it. It just did need a bit more time to dry than just the night. So keep that in mind if you guys are doing this and you guys want to use your stuff. It takes a little bit longer than a day to dry. Fitment is pretty tight back here, but it doesn't fit. I, I can fit my finger between the, the chain and the actual thing. So it should be fine, I think. Inside is freaking amazing. I love the green, like I've told you guys many times. Keep my, my shades in there, which I don't need at night. And my registration, all that good stuff. If you guys want to see the old color, this is the old color. You guys can see it's a lot more different. And it's a lot farther away from that brown than, than this brown is. And this is just three coats, man. This other one, this other bag's got like five or six. So there's that for you guys. This one is just a sample one. It's a lot more shiny where we did WD-40. It's a lot duller where the clear, lighter color is at, man. So that was that experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a thing or two. It's still kind of stained in here. So it might just end up being stained. Oh, well, this was just a learner. The actual bag we used did come out pretty good. So didn't get any, any stains on that one. It looks pretty great. Let me know what you guys think of the barber down below. Wearing my dad's leather jacket. Don't let him know I took it, but it completes the fit. Let me show you guys how long it takes for me to get ready. So there's a, the principal latch right here, which is the main one, the main latch. See how hard it takes, how long it takes me to do this with gloves and with. All right, let me see. Then we bring it into the secondary latch. Let me see. Yeah. That didn't take too long, guys, but doing that over and over again i can imagine we'll get pretty old so it's just the price i have to pay for keeping it old school man you feel me i don't have anything in the small park i can't really figure out anything for that one so looks great man i love it looks good fills up the gap of course i'm, I'm only running one because it only makes sense to run one you feel me so there's that guys i'm gonna leave the description down below if you guys want to get the same saddlebags i got I got them off eBay, so I'm surprised they were real leather. Came from all over all over the world. Came from the came from Europe. They went to Dubai, and they came back over to North America. So it's great, man. It's cool. Super hyped on the build. Everything goes so well together, man. Even with like my helmet and stuff, it goes so well together, man. I love it. This setup it just makes it stand out that much more, man. Your boy out here just trying to end the video, man, but it's not gonna work out. We're in the middle of the traffic, man. So let's go ahead, step back into my room where the filming takes part. Yo, so we're back at the crib, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a great video. I enjoyed myself. I had fun. I ended up getting to ride my bike. We ended up uh, learning something new. We were scientists today, man. That's what we were. We were myth busters. We were trying to debunk what my dad said, but apparently WD-40 is a great way to age your leather, you feel me? So next time you guys trying to do something like that give your boy some credit man not me my pops give my pops some credit you know with that being said guys i want to thank you guys for being here i want to thank you guys so much for 5k subs man we're going to be planning something to give away to you guys so make sure hey, you hit that subscribe button to be entered and hit that bell as well so when that video comes out of what we're going to do for the giveaway i don't want you guys to miss out so make sure to hit that bell as well hit that like video if you guys enjoyed the video man i really appreciate each and every one of you guys that always comes through always says what's up Always checks in on the videos, man. Always shows love with that thumbs up, man. That's how you guys can show me that you guys are loving the vlogs. Just throw a thumbs up, man. It takes no money. It takes zero time. It's right there. We're already here. I'm going to give you guys three seconds since we're already here, man. I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time, man. I'm about to head out myself. About to edit this vlog on the road with the homies. And then uh, get into whatever we're going to get into tonight, man. I hope you guys are riding safe. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are being careful with whatever it is you guys are doing. I don't encourage you. I don't condone you guys do anything. But if you guys are out there having fun, 
make sure to be protective make sure to take care of yourself make sure to put yourself first when, it, when you are in tight situations with that being said guys i hope you guys have an amazing blessed day and i'll catch y'all on the next video